Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm rocking up with a high vis jacket and my hoodie with my hood up and everything because it is a really cold, wet and windy day today. Um, but even so, I don't like working in the rain but I got a phone call this morning saying with the rain the way it is I've had to put my wipers on and unfortunately they're now stuck upright as like an 11 on the windscreen basically. The car in question is a 2009 plate Nissan Qashqai. Um, I have already been out to the vehicle. Um, they were they were stranded, they're no longer stranded, and um, they're now back at their home location with the car safely parked in the car park. I have done some tests, I've checked a few things, and it has been diagnosed to uh, be in the faulty wiper mechanism. So I thought, even though it's raining, even though it's a bit of a day I'm gonna try and do some recording because I phoned the scrapyard up they've got one in in their yard and it still has its wiper mechanism whether that mechanism works or not we just got to keep our fingers crossed um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and record a few bits at the scrapyard and try and record a few bits on the car and then just edit out where I can edit as far as uh, getting some good footage for you guys so I'm going to head to the scrapyard now and um, we'll basically get this wiper mechanism removed. Over at the scrapyard, I'm going to be a naughty boy and enter the no entry part because this is where my car is, back here. So we've got loads of vehicles here. Um, my car, the, the car, not my car, but you know what I mean, the one I need to get access to. Oh, how do I get through? <laughs> Go this way round. This is a 2007 plate Nissan Qashqai and the wiper motor there looks okay, looks in the right place but the one on the car that I've got to get this part for is sitting upright like so, so um, yeah, I'm going to get this bonnet open and we'll get started. First thing we need to do is pop these little covers off, they just literally come off with a splatted screwdriver and then we then need to get them nuts off for the wipers which are 14mm socket. Uh, I'm going to grab them off and um, pull the wipers off and then we've got to then get these uh, clips out. There's one, two, oops, four clips in there, one there and one at the end. Four clips in there and um, then that scuttle should just come off and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So when you've got these covers off the wipers, you then take these 14mm nuts off the wiper arms, the wiper arms should then pull off and um, when you've then got the wiper arms off there's four little clips all along here which look just like that, screwdriver underneath and then they'll pop straight up, take them off. When you've done all that this should then lift forward and slide out from underneath the edge of the windscreen. Be careful there is a pipe at the bottom there, doesn't matter too much in this car because it is a scrapyard but if you just gently ease it down there's plenty of space on this pipe because it comes down here look that's for your washer jets which are here and here so be careful not to damage that so you go and you put it back because it goes around here and into this side just here like so but like and then when you've done done that finally there'll be a 10 mil there which isn't there because i've already taken it out there'll be a 10 mil there in that hole a 10 mil there in that hole and fourth and final one in this corner here and they'll look like that take them out you've then got the electrical plug which is just a tab here lift that up with a flatted screwdriver lightly and then that will push straight out the bottom and now because that's all loose that should just lift out just drop my uh, socket and um, that's one wiper arm motor assembly ready to go in the customer's car so I'm still at the scrapyard but I'm back in my van ready to go off to the vehicle I've got to put this on basically. Um, I'm not going to show you how I put it together because I've already, I feel like I've already done a, pretty much an in, in, enough to explain how to take it apart. But what I will do, if you bear with us when I get to the vehicle, I will show you what's going on with the vehicle and why we're doing this. Um, so the part's paid for. I'm going to head to the car now. So guys, I've got the keys. We'll get them unlocked. And that's literally what we're dealing with. The wipers are stuck in that position and they won't move. They're not even loose in any way, shape or form. They're just literally stuck in that position. Uh, if I take you inside the car though, put the ignition on 
and absolutely nothing with the wiper stock at all. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get this job done because my phone is now soaked for this few seconds of recording. Um, get this job done and then bring it back when I've done it. So they definitely look like they're in a much better position. Let's see if they work. And what better way to test them than while it's raining, eh? Let's go move the key in the ignition, turn that on, and then we'll put the wipers on. First speed, lovely. Second speed, and third speed. Now just to make sure we haven't nicked the uh, washer jets, washer jets are working fine as well. So, might be a bit of a stuff in there but anyway she'll be happy now she can drive in the rain and get to where she needed to go so so guys that's uh, one happy customer and uh, she'll be able to go on on her merry way and do what she wants to do now even if it's raining because the wipers work and um, I'm gonna say thank you for watching take care for now guys and I'll see you in the next video just before I do go my another one of my videos will be up in this corner and I'll put my subscribe icon down in this corner Please consider subscribing as it helps the channel grow. Take care though, bye for now.